Welcome back, folks. Let's give this place a... Uh, look. I keep meaning to do this off-camera, and, uh... I promise I just don't have time. <laughs> to prepare for the wilds, Ceylandia's brushers practice at Camp Donsey. Had to navigate a maze of pin cushions with nothing but a pike. Activate all six quick switches. It's a dangerous test for a dangerous job. The oh. See, I'm not. It's got a long reload on it. I get it in the eye. Health tonics were off limits at Camp Donsey. They said they made you weak. I get it. Guess I've been really doing that wrong. I get it now. prize at this, but... What? The rules said he couldn't use any fancy footwork. Just your brains and your pike. It's probably like friggin' 30 seconds to... Yeah, that was pretty bad. Just getting through the course in one piece was an accomplishment. Enough third place. Under 90 seconds. Actually, I guess I wasn't that far off, and had I known to actually, like... Once you started the course, they made you finish. That's not what I wanted to do. I was hoping I could sneak around it, but... You can see why the brushers prize those pikes of theirs. An interesting bit of lore behind the game, too. Alright, what's out here? Point Lemayne's Grand Rail once brought the riches of the wild right to our doorstep. Know how Ceylandia became the richest city in the world? Two words. Point Lemain. If the wild could ever be tamed, it was gonna happen right here. But now, the greatest outpost past the city line is nothing but a freak show. The army's triggers once had the place on lockdown. Oh, he got a musket now. Not a musket. Uh... Kid might as well pick up where they left off. Blam! Just like my fighting days. Gun like that can even put the wilds in check. I don't understand how. Ow, oh, it's like a shotgun. It's got no rain once. Oh! I gotcha. That's how we work. Point Lemain seen better days for sure, but it ain't done. So that's when this gun is horrible for it. Shudders in a fit. The 
grand rail of Point Lemaine. Not only is it still there, it still works. Being forced to move. Of course, it's no longer shipping hides and alloys and spices, but it can give the kid a lift. Just as long as he can stay clear of the trouble on the tracks. Damn it. Power shot is exactly. Grand rails all grown over with things a calamity chewed up and spat out. Things eager to take back their turf. Come on. It's not bad, it's just not very accurate. God crap. Kid lets a few of them slip by. Lunkheads settled in like they own the place. They did it. Takes fancy footwork on the rail, what with wallflowers coughing fungus everywhere. Actually, all the weapons are fairly well varied. Place used to be closed off, but now it's split open like a rotten pineapple. Of course, the Grand Rails seem much more fighting in bygone times. Near on 50 years ago, first shots fired in the Ura Ceylandian War. Right here, that Zolf's Ura forefathers decided to mix it up. Ow. Okay, so maybe we didn't get their sign-off on the whole Grand Rail thing. That was bad. What they did? Well, that was worse. Damn it! I find that interesting that you can do extra damage by falling on opponents. That may be need to be my new tactic. Yeah. 
The rail must have shook the earth to the bone down in those dens of theirs. Oh no, my squirt. Oh, little squirt. I love you. Well, the rail won't last much longer now that the kid took the shard. It's still got one good run in store for him, though. All the rotten wood there on the rails turned it into swamp weed central. Oh, damn, even stepping on it? Even the enemies hit. Ever tried dancing side to side while holding your breath? While shooting a genuine registered army carbine? While choking on swamp weed? It has. While Pecker's trying to prick you in the eye? Well, let me tell you, it ain't fun. Yeah, it is. I'm having a blast. Granted, I probably wouldn't be had I, you know, if I was actually as this kid. That would probably suck a little more. Oh, damn, I need to notice me fall off. It's the end of the line. He'll be picking swamp weed out of those boots for days. Turns out he's got company up at the rail station waiting for him. Oh, Jesus. Just another wallflower pincushion, mind you. Huh? At first he thinks it's Zulf. Turns out he's wrong. This is for you, says the man. Then wham. When the kid comes to, the man's long gone, but something else is there. It appears to be written by Zolf, who must have found another Ura survivor to deliver the message. The only words kid recognizes on that parchment are for Zia. Well, what's a kid to do? He took the shard, he took the hit, and he took that note. That note cuts straight to the heart of things, don't it? Did they take my... No, they didn't. It ain't too late to unlock the potential of this place. Let's go for that lost and found. We need an awful big lost and found under the circumstances. Special that lodge inside and explodes. That's kind of cool. Cool. Now another something pointy. Let's take that. And, uh, head out of here then. The note says it plain. Zia, go east to learn the truth about the calamity and our people. I'll be waiting. Sincerely. Zulf. Finding gourmet ingredients ain't easy these days, but we'll take what we can get. Zulf's messenger was one of his people. Wonder just how many of them survived, and what exactly Zulf told him. No, oh, something pointy wasn't what I wanted. I wanted something sharp. Something point at work. Yeah. Just not that interested in that one. And this was something fancy. 3% speed while aiming, yeah. And we'll come back to it.
Alright, folks, I will cut off here, though, as always. Thanks for watching. Tune in the next. Thanks for watching, folks.